It seems like just a year or two ago that the BTEC Corporation stunned the GMRS world with the GMRS Pro handheld HT walkie-talkie radio, the first GMRS radio with built-in Bluetooth and GPS. And now it looks like BTEC may have done it again with this, the new BTEC GMRS 50 Pro 50 watt mobile and base station GMRS radio. It is basically a 50 watt version of the GMRS Pro handheld walkie talkie radio. And I must admit that the BTEC Corporation surprised me with this one. I usually have my stink finger on the pulse of the GMRS world, but this one has caught me by surprise. The cost for the new and just released BTEC GMRS 50 Pro mobile radio is, as of today, $285 of monies. And no doubt, some people are going to leave comments wailing and gnashing their teeth about that price tag. However, if you actually take the time to compare that price to all of the other all-in-one handset 50-watt mobile radios like the Midland MXT 575, which has nowhere near as many features as this radio, but costs over $400, or the Wuxin Ocean KG-1000G+, Plus, which is not even an all-in-one handset radio, it does not have nearly as many features, and yet it also costs right around $400. When you consider these actual facts, you quickly realize that $285 of money is for an all-in-one handset GMRS radio with all of the features that this one has is not a bad price. But even when faced with those facts, we all know that some people are still going to complain about that price tag in the comments because it seems that some people aren't happy unless they have something to be unhappy about. Anyway, for your clicking and purchasing pleasure, I will put affiliate links for this radio to both Amazon and directly to the BTEC website in the more information section of this video below. And I would also like to point out that the BTEC Corporation did not send this new radio to me for free. Nay, I paid full price for this radio, unlike most of those other less trustworthy YouTubers. So there will be no undue influence over what I have to say about it, whether it be good or it be bad. And yes, I will be giving away this radio, even though I just paid almost $300 of money for it, but I am not giving it away in this video. So watch out for the giveaway video for this radio coming soon. So when you purchase the new and just released BTEC GMRS 50 Pro all-in-one handset 50 watt GMRS mobile radio, in the box you will receive a user manual, 62 pages long and written in perfect English. And it is written in perfect English because the BTEC Corporation is an American company based right here in the heart of these United States in the state of Arlington. And whilst it is true that the radio is assembled by the tiny hands of children in the slave labor camps of China, if you need support with this radio, you will be dealing with someone in the state of Arlington, not in China. And the radios ship from inside these United States. I ordered mine through Amazon and I received it the next morning. I did not have to wait two weeks for it to come from China and have it sit in customs for a week while they figure out how many tariffs to put on it. You will receive a mounting bracket, screws, fasteners, and so on and such forth. You will receive a power cable, 15 feet or so long. I didn't measure it. On one end, you'll find a plug for connecting into the pigtail that comes out of the back of the radio. The other end, you plug into your DC power source. You will receive a all-in-one microphone handset. As you can see, the microphone is larger than most. I will discuss this more momentarily. And the microphone has this type of connecting plug. And you will receive the BTEC GMRS 50 Pro GMRS mobile radio. On the rear, you will find a cooling fan, an SO239 antenna hole, and a hole for an external speaker as well as the previously mentioned pigtail for plugging into your electrical power source. On the front, you will find only 
a BTEC logo that lights up, a power LED indicator, as well as transmit and receive indicator LEDs. Under this protective sheath, you'll find a USB's A-hole for charging your cell phone or whatever else you want to jam into the A-hole. And you'll find a hole for plugging in the previously mentioned handset microphone. When you turn the radio on, it emits a nice power on jingle that you can sing along with. On the microphone, you will find all of the controls necessary for using, controlling, and programming the radio. Power button, channel, up and down, paddle, volume down, volume up, menu, control, this, that, the other, all of which are programmable. You will find a push to talk trigger, as well as a fancy little name tag. And because you do everything on the radio right here with this, this means that you can mount the radio chassis somewhere safe or out of the way, and you'll never have to look at it again because you do everything with the microphone. This radio can listen to two channels at the same time. However, I have turned that option off because it only fosters confocularity and rage. And of course, like all GMRS radios, this radio can talk with all other GMRS radios and FRS radios, no matter what brand. The radio comes pre-programmed with all of the 22 standard GMRS channels right out of the box. No computer or app or anything is required to use this radio on the standard 22 GMRS channels. Just take it out of the box, connect it to some power and an antenna, turn it on, pick a channel, put the microphone near your noise hole, mash the talk trigger, and talk. However, just like with all mobile GMRS radios, this radio cannot and will not transmit on GMRS channels 8 through 14. And this is due to the FCC's overreaching rules. Many licensed GMRS operators often refer to these particular FCC rules as stupid or pointless. Of course, I would never say that. Because this is a GMRS radio, it is limited to only transmitting on the previously mentioned 22 GMRS channels and the eight GMRS repeater channels. However, this radio can also receive 136 to 174, my gigahertz, 400 to 520, my gigahertz, commercial FM radio, NOAA weather channels, and NOAA weather alerts. The Bufwang Tech website says that the radio can also receive AM aviation frequencies, but I was not able to enter any of those aviation frequencies in the app. And this can mean only one thing. I was doing it wrong. Or the website lied. And because the radio can receive all of those other frequencies, you can store up to 180 of them in custom channels for fast access. The speaker in the hand microphone is loud. It is very loud. It is annoyingly loud. But if you are driving a noisy vehicle, for example, something like my very noisy yet very manly Jeep, this loudness is a good thing. And it also has an adjustable microphone gain control, something that most radios do not have. This allows you to turn down the sensitivity of the microphone so that it does not pick up as much background noise, like when you're driving and your wife will not shut up. The radio, meaning the handset as well as the chassis, has an IP54 waterproof rating, which means it's not really waterproof, but this does mean that it is dust and weather resistant, which is fine for a car and even for the dustiest of off-road vehicles. The radio has an audio relay option that works a bit like a repeater. When enabled, the radio will record and then retransmit everything it receives. This might come in handy, for example, if you are out of your vehicle using a small walkie-talkie, you could transmit from the walkie-talkie to the radio, which would then retransmit everything at higher power with your bigger mobile antenna. Or even better, you can use this feature to mess with anyone else talking on your channel. Another feature that this radio has that most other, if not no other mobile GMRS radios have is a built-in compass and GPS. So you can view your GPS coordinates, which I'm not going to show on camera. You can send your location to other GMRS Pro Mobile or GMRS Pro 
handheld radios, and you can receive location data from other GMRS Pro radios. And you can set it to do all of this automatically, manually, or not at all. And as I just mentioned, this works only with other GMRS Pro radios, and it is not, not APRS compatible. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it because normal people don't care. And yes, the GPS and the compass are built into the radio. It does not rely on your phone for GPS data or your compass heading. And if you have a friend with one of these radios or a BTEC GMRS Pro handheld walkie-talkie radio, you can share channel groups to them wirelessly. And the reason you can send your custom channels to other radios wirelessly is because this radio has built-in Bluetooth, which also means that you can use your phone to program and control the radio using the free BTEC app. Using the free app, you can program the radio wirelessly, and you can even do firmware updates on the radio all wirelessly. And because the radio has built-in Bluetooth, you can also pair it with a Bluetooth headset and even AirPods, as you can see by the tiny headphone indicator. So you can listen to the radio through your Bluetooth headset or AirPods and even transmit on the radio completely hands-free. But wait, there's more. BTEC even sells a wireless Bluetooth speaker microphone that you can use to make this a completely wireless radio not counting the power wires. And unlike many other GMRS radios with built-in Bluetooth, the Bluetooth on this radio actually works and is very easy to use. So easy, in fact, that I was able to pair up my iPhone and start using the free BTEC app to program the radio in less than one minute. And I also paired my AirPods and started using them also in less than one minute. It is so easy that even you can do it. Probably. The free BTEC app also allows you to edit and create custom channels, program repeaters, change channels, adjust the volume, adjust the squelch, and a whole lot more. Again, all of these things that can also be done directly on the radio. The app is not required to use this radio. However, it is a lot easier to do everything with the app, but the app is optional. The app also has chat groups and other computer dork stuff that most grown-ups won't care about. You will need a sign in for that, but it's there if you get bored, I guess. If you do not use any of the computer dork chat stuff, you do not need to create a login. You can use the app with no login whatsoever. Now you may have noticed that I mentioned that using the app is optional. And I say this because no doubt some people are going to leave comments proclaiming proclaiming that the app is collecting your data and sending it to China and stealing all of your credit cards and your Wi-Fi password and all of your contacts and emptying your bank account. Of course, they never actually leave any evidence to back up their proclamations other than, trust me, bro. So again, allow me to point out that using the app is optional. Nobody is forcing anybody to install this app or use this app. You can use the radio without ever using the app. So if you do not trust the app, don't use it. You do not need to leave stupid comments about it unless you have some evidence to back up your claims. I hope I have made myself clear. And yes, most important of all, this radio does have a Roger beep. Of course, the other big feature of this radio is that it is a high power GMRS radio that can transmit up to 50 watts of RF electricities. So let's test that. As you can see on channel 15, the radio is outputting just over 40 watts. On GMRS channel 22, the radio is outputting just over 40 watts. On repeater 15, the radio is outputting just over 41 watts. And on repeater channel 22, the radio is also putting out just over 41 watts. Regarding the fan, as many people may ask, it does not run all the time. It does kick on momentarily when you transmit. It is very quiet, however, you can hear it kicking on and off. The BTEC website recommends using the UT72G GMRS antenna with this radio. However, I, the queen of all that is GMRS, do not recommend the UT72G antenna because based on my extensive testing of pretty much every GMRS mobile antenna on the market, the UT72G was the least good 
at performing. That's a nice way of saying that the antenna sucks and it had the least amount of FARs when compared to other similar antennas. So I, the queen of all that is GMRS, recommend using the Midland MXTA 26 GMRS antenna for use with this radio or any mobile GMRS radio. And not only do I recommend the Midland MXTA 26 antenna, but I'm also a customer. I have one on both of my Jeeps. Affiliate link below. And because this is a 50 watt radio, when combined with a good antenna such as the previously mentioned Midland MXTA 26 antenna, you can expect to get the exact same FARs as you would get with any high powered GMRS radio, which, depending upon the terrain around you, will range anywhere from a mile or two up to around 100 miles. Your FARs will vary. And just in case you have not been following along, what all of this talking means is that the new BTEC GMRS50 Pro GMRS radio is the most feature-packed GMRS radio that you are going to find. And as of right now, at least, you will not find any radio with this many features at this price. <laughs> 